What's up, sexy Sam Lander Squad? How you guys doing today? We're doing a ranked 1v1. I'm playing Apollo, full attack speed. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I'm just doing a really generic ass start here. Should I go shell or beads? He's like, his alt is gonna be really annoying if I can't mez him afterwards. But I feel like beads are gonna do a lot for me. Yeah, I'm just gonna go bracer. I don't want to think about it. Hold up. Oh, okay. Let's do this speed buff. Because I'm not that mana heavy. As the Apollo. Is my clear better than his? Ooh, it is. His, his wave clears a lot better, but my buff clears a lot better. Maybe I just double buff, actually. He started Warrior's Blessing with a bunch of mana pots. He actually didn't go any HP pots, which is really weird. Ouch. I do hit level 5 off this wave. Not that it matters too much, I guess. Yo, that's mad annoying. Don't fall behind. Oh my god, that does so much damage, dude. The early game chalk. Thank god it didn't hit me again. I'm actually not going to get my ult here. Don't fall behind. Nice. We're pushing some minions out of his range. Ooh. Actually got some great damage on him there. And I still have Bracer. He only has Aegis. Alright, I have my alt up, so I'm actually going to back here. He is probably also going to back, to be honest with you. But I want the red buff anyway, so I'm ulting. He actually didn't back, that's so greedy. Alright, well, that was like extreme greed by the Chalks part. He wanted to... I don't know actually what he wanted to do, but it was, and what it was not the play. Though, I'll tell you that much. It's definitely not the play. All right, before we get the full attack speed online, obviously we got to get some some like default shit online. Like I got to get the devil gloves, and then I got to go attack speed boots, and then interval, and then you know Atalantas and like Kins and Silverbrand. We just basically. We just gotta build a lot of fucking items to get full attack speed to be fun. So, so that's what we're gonna do. Do I max my two here? It does give me a big physical protection buff. I probably do. Oh, look how much damage I do to him actually. Nice. Two kills back to back, baby. Ooh, shit. My one actually clears wave, too? That's super nice. That felt really good. Alright, we almost have enough for our boots, too, because we got the kill there. Kind of hype as shit, huh? Okay, he did get his transcendence, so he's gonna be doing some damage, so just be on the lookout for it. Okay. 
honestly not a bad fight. We got his ult there. I remember. And I hate sucking, you know? But I do heal quite a bit, you know, with my with my HP pots and my devos. I'm actually out healing him. I gotta tell you, I'm very surprised he hasn't surrendered yet. <laughs> Yikes. I'm very surprised he hasn't surrendered yet, because he's kind of getting dookied on. So much to see. He's not even going boots. That's greedy. Not going boots here is so greedy. Yo, I do so actual much damage. Him. He's still not surrendering? I mean, if he doesn't surrender after that death, I don't think he's surrendering at all, which means I can get my full build online, which means we're going to have some fun this game. I'm excited, dude. Um... Unfortunately, Devos doesn't actually give any attack speed. So later in the game, when I'm like at his Titan, I think I will actually sell Devos to get more attack speed. Dude, I heal so much. I actually heal so much. Alright, so we got this online. Uh, let's go Belt of Frenzy because I do want to go full on attack speed. Thank you. What? 1.94. What am I at with my passive up? 2.5. Well mm, I guess we just farm up, huh? I mean, he can't steal bus from me, so I might as well push this first. God, dude, I do so much damage. I feel like I do so much damage. I'm level 15 at 8 minutes in, though. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I'm, I just realized I'm level, I'm level 15. 8 minutes in. What? That's insane. Yo, my autos hit so hard. My man's got tier 2 defense and a warrior's blessing and still getting chunked by 150s. Uh, I don't know if I should go Atalanta's bow or just go straight into Silver Branch. Because I am breaking the 2.5 attack speed cap with my passive. Already.
Hmm. I don't know what I should do. I think I should probably just go out Atlantis. You can clear the wave, buddy. You don't have to back. You don't have to back. Literally, this whole game is just me like, hey, hang out, chalk. Hang out. Do your thing. I just want to get my build online. All right, now I'm going to farm up 2,200 gold to get that silver branch. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Again, I'm not going to take his tower because I don't want him to feel that pressure. Don't fall behind. I just want to farm up, brother. Ouch. Definitely could have killed him, but I'm not going to. And I'm sure you already know the reason why. I Literally, this game is a full-blown fucking meme. I got Bull Demon for his tower instead of his Phoenix. Because, again, I don't want that pressure on my boy, you know? Only reason I got Bull Demon is because you get gold from it. So... <laughs> Back the way, dude. I really did not want to kill him there. By the way. But he kind of gave me no choice when he just ran at me. Okay. We have a passive up. We have a silver branch. 50 stacks, bro? 57 stacks. We have a whole two items to go. Is this only 15% and this is no percent? We can still get an oboe. Ooh, wait a second. We might be able to break 100 stacks here. We might be able to break 100 stacks here. How much is oboe? Uh... 2100 a little bit expensive but okay it's actually really cheap for how good oboe is i'm saving my speed buff by the way for when i go and get oboe so i can see the passive stacks dude having 50 already is insane i kind of feel bad for this shock he actually can't play the game i just do whatever i want to him I don't have kins either. I wonder if I go oboe kins for these two items. Oh, it does. The skin does remind me of Guardians in Zelda too, actually. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. I wonder if I drop ancient screws or if I'm more of a core guy. 
Red buff's not up. Get the fuck out of there. Back up. Um. Oh, I think I can get Oboe, actually. I think I can back and sell my Hunter's Blessing for Oboe. I think I have enough. It sells for 460, right? 466. Nice. Alright, we're at 57 stacks, boys. Get this, uh... The speed buff. We're at 14 without passive. Oh my god. Let's get some passive online. We're at 62. We pop frenzy. We're at 69. Nice. Uh, and the next item. What's the what's the most attack speed item in the game here? I have all the bows, so obviously not that. 20%. 25%. The Aussie. If that gets a crit. Uh, no, if this gets a crit. Brings me at 35%. 20. 20, but this goes up to 40 if I drop down. But I don't know if I can get that to work. I have to let him beat my ass with my passive up. And I won't have lifesteal to, to help me win the fight afterwards. Um, I, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it. I don't know if it's gonna lose me the game or not, but it has to. It has to be attempted, right? It has to. Sell this, get berserkers. Seventy-one stacks. And then I get lower, I get 20% attack speed. Which, how many how many stacks is 20%? 0 0.02 attack speed, you go over cap. I don't know how much 20% will do for me. Beat my ass! Maybe if I punch him a little bit? Look, we're fighting. Come on, come on, a little more. 76. 83! We got 83, dude! How much attack speed is Boots? 25. If I go crit instead of Boots, that is faster attack speed. Because this is 35 instead of 25. But I also can't let him three me. Because when he threes me. Your middle tower is under attack. When he threes me, it slows my attack speed, dude. Your middle tower oh, man, is destroyed. Hmm. 71 stacks just straight up is absurd, by the way. I think I probably just go Aussie. For my boots, if I want to actually have like a legitimate chance at winning video games, still. Where's he going? What are you, what are you doing, buddy? Moving like a crab on the beach. Oh, oh there he is. Aw, oh, damn it. The no lifesteal kind of sucks, huh? Not having Devos. I feel like Berserker Shield is kind of a shitty item. I mean, it's definitely not a shitty item when you look at it. But it feels bad. You know the feeling you get when you buy an item and you're like, wow, this kind of isn't what I expected. Does this give attack speed? No, just cooldown and power. I don't care about that. Does this give attack speed? No, power and damage to structure. I actually didn't know it gave you damage to structures. 
Did he back? Oh my god, he didn't back. I'm coming in, boys! Do -do 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 -do. Okay. Oh god damn it. How much does this sell for? I think it sells for a thousand. So how much is the crit item? Twenty five hundred? Alright, we can get it pretty shortly. Pretty soon. I'll do these minis and then I should be able to go get it. And then I think, uh... I think I'm gonna get that item and then I'm gonna try hard. Because I will probably need to in order to win the game. Where is it? Wow. This reminds me of home. We have 62 stacks. Without speed buff, without frenzy, without the procs from either of my things. Which would be an extra 75% attack speed, everything combined. Which would definitely put me over 100 stacks. So in an ideal world... Oh, you are getting clapped up, dog. In an ideal world, we definitely get over 100 stacks. But like, I don't think ideal worlds happen in this match. Against a Chak who can lower my attack speed. I do want an Aussie. I feel like that would be very good. I mean, I <laughs> to be honest, I want a Devos, but I kind of fucked that one up, huh? For the memes, though, for the memes. Did I just crit 700? We have 28 stacks. Can I get my passive off this? I cannot. All right, we have 76 stacks with my with my thingy proct. That gives me 10 stacks by itself. That's pretty good. Which means that Berserker Shield gives me 10 stacks also because it procs the same amount, which puts me at 96 stacks. And then my frenzy does an extra eight stacks. So yeah, we have we have over 100 stacks in a perfect world. But like I said, per I don't think perfect worlds exist against Chalk. Oh, here we go. Damn, he's so tanky. Getting the Phoenix down is good enough, and we definitely already broke a hundred on Silver Branch. So the meme is definitely complete. The question is, do I try to win the game with the meme build? Or do I do I check off successful meme and then switch back to a build that wins the game? I think for me personally, if I didn't win the game with the meme build, you kind of you kind of faked it. So, I'm going to go for the dubs. Going for the dubs, boys. Oh, you know what? Toxic Blade actually is 30% attack speed. It's only 5% less than that if I get a crit. It's also definitely better than 
Berserker shield, I think. I like the crit much more than I like the Berserker shield proc. Okay. I like that play. Let's go get Toxic. Okay. Does he actually lose his Phoenix off that? I mean, he probably will because I'm going to ult it, but... Let's go, boys! No. I'm not going to ult it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this one. I would feel like a shithead if I ulted it. That was a thousand damage crit almost. Oh my god, I do so much damage. What's up, gamer? Alright, see you later. She's spam laughing at me. <laughs> I stack HP pots. A simple food, sometimes simple is best. Uh the HP pot didn't didn't go unless I don't have the the buff there because I have too many buffs on. I don't know. Oh well I don't know, the multi pot's ticking. Minion there the whole time too. It wasn't even a back door. He just wasn't there. I don't know, man. Hey, but we broke a hundred stacks on Silver Branch, and beat a spam laughing chalk, and beat him with the build. I'm about it. That was a good video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, guys, peace.